Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Stephanie and there is a full on blizzard happening outside. So I figured what better, what better thing to do than have story time. And now I need to pull up my phone because now things start to get interesting. So this would have been just over a year after we talked to, or I talked to the catfish producer. Okay, so last March. This is when I'm gonna bring in some conversations because I don't have them from years ago, but I have them from last year. Our conversations were pretty chill. It's like, I just got home, I'm sorry you were having a day, I drove most of mine, had a thing tonight, I hope you're okay. I said, no worries, I know you've got a lot going on, glad you're home safe. And then he's like, I had to come home this weekend to do lawyer stuff, drove four hours, then another two to take a girl to a concert, also bought tickets for Sam, it was quite a trip, blah, blah, blah. So he went to a concert with his friends and, and whatever. This was like normal conversation. So I'm like asking about the girl, asking if his friend enjoyed the show. And so we're just, we're basically just like gossiping about this chick he was seeing and all this kind of stuff. We talk about food often. We talked about food quite a lot. Okay, so just imagine, we were having a, a normal conversation about going to the eye doctor because of headaches. And then he said you had to drive home. And I asked why and he didn't answer. After that, I sent, I waited a couple days because he obviously went and was driving home, dealing with some stuff. And then I, I was getting, I remember distinctly, I was getting ready for work one day and I was like, any chance you have time for a FaceTime? I know that this guy's not gonna FaceTime me. He would, he never FaceTime me. That was never an option. Um, but every once in a while I would ask just to see. And so I was like, well, I'm getting ready for work and just wanna say, hey, what's going on? So I was like, any chance you have a minute for a FaceTime? No, I'm out dealing with shit with my buddy. And I just said, okay. I never hear shit from you anymore, okay. Mim like mocking the fact that all I said was okay. And I said, well, I don't hear from you either. And he said, the only time you text me is to be on some other shit. I'm assuming he meant to FaceTime or when I'm like on Twitch. Cause sometimes I'd let him know I was getting on Twitch. And he said, I have too much going on right now to stress anything with you. You never pop up just to be like, how are you? And I was thinking that's exactly what I was doing today. I just wanted to FaceTime and be like, hey, what's going on? But whatever. <laughs> Uh, and I just said I'm not about to play, play a blame game. Literally just wanted to FaceTime and say hi while I was getting ready for work. To which he responded, Honestly, don't even care to even have the conversation. It's old shit I'm letting go of. And I don't know where things turned. The thing, like, we, we were talking about his eye doctor appointment a couple days before. And so, like, I was just like, what the f What is going on? And I was like, I am? Like, I'm old shit you're getting rid of? And he's like, we never talk just to have the conversation. You realize that. And I'm like, literally just the other day, we were talking about you going to the eye doctors. I'm like, that's just talking to have conversation, no? And I was just like, so just like blown away. And I guess he had some, a traumatic experience that he had dealt with. Um, and so he was dealing with that, which I totally didn't know. So I apologize because I didn't know. To which I said, I didn't know you were dealing with that. You also never said anything. It is a two-way street. I miss our friendship, that's all. Because we hadn't talked as much recently. That's uh, that's all. You're the one that's distanced yourself. I'm not dumb and I'm not messaging you to argue either. When you cool down and realize that I just want to chat and don't and won't chase after you when you're busy, then let me know. I honestly have no idea where this all came from when all I said was okay. And then after that, I never got an answer via text. So that was the last conversation we had. I tried sending a couple messages after that and then they stopped getting delivered. So I clearly got blocked for no reason. Um, I, I have no idea why this traumatic event had him just decide that I was the person that he needed to cut out of his life because I feel like I was there at any point in time if he needed to talk, if I needed to talk. Like, I would listen to him when he was dealing with stuff and vice versa. So, 
it was one of those things that like the switch just flipped and it didn't make sense to me but I left it I ended up leaving it for quite a while and I for the most part accepted the fact that this person just decided that I they didn't want to be my friend anymore I didn't understand it but I just I don't know it, I still don't I still don't get it and then a couple months ago this would have been actually I have screenshots a couple months ago I decided to log on to Twitch because I had remembered him talking about a couple of the other streams that he watched while he was on Twitch. I was curious because I don't like having unanswered questions. <laughs> I don't like it at all. And so I decided to do a little bit of research. And I I went back and I found one of the streamers he had talked about. She had a stream similar to mine. She was a musician and I'm not gonna put out names because I don't want necessarily people to get super I, I'm not trying to call people out I'm just trying to share my story uh, she's a streamer super super talented um, musician singer so I went into her stream and I was super curious because obviously he cut things off with me and I just wanted to know if he was still on twitch because I had logged on a couple times but I'm pretty sure that he had blocked me because I tried reaching out by a couple of the other ways that I could contact him um, after my texts weren't going through and none of them were going through. I don't have him on very many social media platforms because he doesn't exist on most social media platforms. <laughs> surprise, surprise. But I, I had him on Twitch and, and I thought maybe if he's still using it I could get at him there but I couldn't. So I checked out her page and when I looked at one of her old streams, because when you watch um, an old stream sometimes you can see the chat, and I noticed that he was chatting in it. And I was like, okay, so you are still around. Like, just because you've cut me out of your life, obviously you're still doing your thing. And when he logged on to her chat room, she answered, hey baby. And it triggered me a little bit because I had a weird flashback of when I used to stream on blog TV and I would get all smiley when he would log in and say hey because I'm like oh he's watching blah, blah, blah. and I was like oh my god in my mind I feel like he's starting over with somebody different and it just like I had a, it blew my mind a little bit because cut me off once and for all and is starting over with somebody else and like that's fine if like I obviously I'm like find someone that you want to build a relationship with we him and I had talked about this all the time and like he deserves someone great but I just didn't want him to do the same thing to another girl that he did to me talk to them online for years and years and years only give them so much information but get to know them enough so that like you get attached and then never actually give anything back and so that was kind of what was going in my mind and I was like I need to talk to this girl so I tried reaching out on I tried sending her a message on Twitch it wasn't going through and I was like oh shit she has me blocked and then I tried sending a message on Instagram and I sent a friend request because I was like if I'm not her friend she's not gonna see it but my friend request got deleted and then I didn't get an answer so I was like well maybe she has me blocked on Instagram too and then I also ended up after that I sent the same message on Facebook found her <laughs> I was like I just need to somehow get across to this girl and like I don't know share my story and just I, I, I didn't really know but having no answers on my end I feel like that definitely drove me um, to try and reach out so I will read the message I sent her hey girl I'm reaching out uh, because you're the only IRL person I've come across that has any connection to my catfish person and I included his username just for some reason in case you didn't know who I was talking about but they seemed chummy so I figured you would know 
Um, I'm not trying to cause drama. All I'm looking for is some sort of truth or maybe closure for something that's probably the biggest question mark in my life to date. This person and I met on a site basically exactly like Twitch called Blog TV 10 years ago, August 2008. I was streaming. He caught my attention. He does that, lol. It quickly turned into some sort of long distance online romance. Nothing official because I'm in Canada, he was home in South Carolina, but we had plans to be together at some point. In some ways, I guess you could say he was my first love. I spent the better part of my university career talking to him, texting, MSN Messenger, countless one sided video calls because he would never use video back. We even had a handful of times where we had planned to meet up because his parents had a house in Toronto, apparently, but for whatever reason, it never worked out. We lost touch after I graduated because I pursued real-life relationships, and I decided to make that a priority over the relationship him and I had. It never really progressed to a healthy or realistic place after the first few few years anyways. I ended up reaching back out to him after my ex and I broke up because I genuinely missed the friendship we had, and I was curious how he had been. Shortly after that, my now boyfriend and I met, but Catfish and I continued to be friends. He was my best friend. The bond we had initially just grew more with time as friends. If you watch Grey's Anatomy, he was a yang to my gray. LOL. There have always been red flags for me, though. I value his friendship and support more than he'll probably ever understand, but he showed all the telltale signs of a catfish. So I reached out to the show because I wanted to connect in person and not continue wondering if this person I had become so close with was really who he said he was. I spoke with a producer, and she was interested in pursuing the story further, but needed his cooperation. To which he flipped out and said, I should know he'd never be down for that. And that we totally, and that we'd figure out a time to finally hang out on our own. Finally, get our friendship tattoo. We had talked about getting friendship tattoos um, ages ago. Um, For this bond we've shared for years. Introduce him to bubble tea because he's never tried it. Weird little things we talked about but never did because our friendship was always long distance. Our entire friendship had always been through text slash the internet. Obviously, it never happened. And I just brushed it off because I still valued the friendship I had over the peace of mind over my unanswered questions. A year after trying to work with the cat with Catfish, the show, my catfish uh, was going through the same going through some shit that brings us to earlier this year so i sent this message closer to the end of last year uh i know he had been watching your twitch streams because he'd mentioned your name before you have an incredible voice slash gift so i'm not surprised he found a safe place in your stream music was something we always connected with i can go back to the messages i have with him but something made him snap and he suddenly didn't want me in his life anymore there was no big fight except on his end and suddenly i was blocked from messaging him he blocked me on twitch and pinterest Pinterest, the only other social media I had for him, legitimately cut me out of his life. With no real explanation, I still have a million question marks. I know this is extremely long-winded, but I wanted to be completely transparent. I have no agenda. I have nothing to hide. I have no idea the nature of your friendship with him, except that he still chats during your Twitch streams. I think I'm just trying to connect the dots and find some sort of answers, and if you're willing to chat at all i'd love to just touch base the lack of closure with this whole thing also bothers me so whatever you might be able to offer i appreciate it if you're not interested in talking that's okay too but if anything at all resonates with you or maybe you've had some of the same questions about him maybe the two of us could figure something out anyways that's all i have i hope to hear back so that's the message that i sent to her oh she also blocked me on twitter which i thought was weird and i was like why is this girl blocking me on everything So I did not hear back from her. Um, She told my catfish that I had reached out and instead of all places, he unblocked me on Twitch and sent me a message on Twitch. I'm like, why didn't you just text me? Because I don't, I didn't regularly check my Twitch um, for, I conveniently logged in and found this message. So now I'm going to read you the last conversation we have ever had. He said, Hey, we clearly need to talk. You apparently have some questions and I'd like to get this out of the way so I can move on with my life. I'm sorry for lashing out and ending things without explanation, but this is where I am in life. I'd like to move on without this continuing to be an issue. So cold. Like... (laughs) So I said, can you text me? I don't really use my Twitch right now. I'd rather not. 
I said, what did I do, first of all, that you suddenly felt the need to put an end to? You know me, I'm beyond understanding and supportive. And then you just cut me off saying I was toxic? Question mark. He said, this past year, I had two huge things happen to impact my life greatly weeks apart. It opened my eyes to a lot of things in a very short amount of time. I don't feel like we've been all that good friends the past few, however many years. I needed support where you couldn't support me and it no longer mattered to me. I, I didn't know. I didn't know any of this. He expected me to be telepathic. I don't have all the answers for you. Nothing about us has been positive or grown in any way in a long, long time. In capital letters. Yeah, that's probably a lot of my own fault. It definitely was. I'm not putting anything on you. He definitely was. I was in a rough patch at the time and I lashed out immaturely. I should have chilled and explained it to you more openly. I've changed and grown a lot this year. That's where I am. I have no interest in further pursuing our friendship because honestly, we haven't really been friends for a very long time. I'm sorry that I left you wondering that wasn't my intention at all. I just closed that because that's what I do. I know this and normally we would, I would be like, yo, like, <laughs> Okay, time to, to cut the act, like, talk about it, and we talk about it. When I need change, I completely shed everything and I find where I need it. This just happened to be one of those things. Normally when this change was happening, I feel like I was the one that was talking him through it, and now this time the change was happening and I was the one he was exclusively not talking to. Which, it, it's fine, I just don't get it. <laughs> I just said... Harsh. We are, we were in very different places. It definitely hurts to know I thought the world of you and you didn't even care. LOL. He said, I haven't felt like you've thought the world of me in a very long time. And I said, you've always been in the back corner when I needed someone or so I thought. I thought we were able to lead our lives, but then come together every once in a while and just catch up or vent or talk to each other or whatever. Whatever, I'll turn my emotions off too. He said, That's just not something I want to do anymore. I said, Cool. He said, I'm sorry if that hurts you. And I was just like, Nah, you're not. You clearly don't care. Which in my mind, like, this, I'm sorry, like, I... Don't even get me it's I I still don't get it anyways he said what do you want me to say if I didn't care I wouldn't be having this conversation with you I have to take care of me first that's where I am and I'm sorry and then I said you're only talking to me because I brought someone else into this not because you care the way you spoke to me the last few times is not you caring if you're going to cut me out of your life, you may as well be completely honest too. You're not who you say you truly are, are you? I was like, at this point, I'm like, I don't care anymore. I'm not going to try and like dance around some of those feelings. He said, asking you to please leave me alone. Oh, and I said, no, I want truth and closure. I called Catfish way back for a reason. You're a virtual ghost and your number matches to names that have nothing to do with you. I've done my research. I've also done reverse image search to which turned up nothing. But the phone numbers... Those have me asking questions. Uh, and then he said, As far as this other girl goes, I don't feel like anyone I have around deserves to be harassed about that shit. About shit that doesn't involve her. Uh, I hoped this could go a little smoother and less aggressive than it is. I'm sorry that you're angry. And I was like, aggressive? I'm like, no, I'm just, I'm just being blunt at this point. I said I wasn't harassing her, but I needed to get through to someone. My message was very nice. Uh... And then he said, I'm sorry that I've hurt you. And I said, just tell me the truth. And he said, I'm sorry that things are the way they are. I can't change that. I said, tell me the truth. He said, what truth? I just said, tell me the truth. Why won't you FaceTime? Why did you convene? Why did we conveniently never meet when we initially planned? You were the better part of 10 years of my life. LOL. 
At this point, I'm laughing because I'm so dumb. Uh, I feel like it's just a big fat question mark, especially with you just dropping out like this. He said, we learn and grow every day. It might not be the right bro growth, but it is what it is. At some point, we both have to part ways and move on with our lives. It's not worth all this you have going on. And I said, giving me answers is worth it to me. He said, I didn't realize it was such a big thing to you before talking to her. And I'm sorry I left it like that. This whole time, literally dancing around everything that I'm saying. And I said, you didn't realize because you didn't care. I clearly cared way too much. And then he said, when things were gravy and we caught up regularly, you didn't seem to care. It took me being like, fuck this, for you to even start asking how I was. And I said, we remember things very differently. To which he replied, well, I'm sorry for that. And I said, you're still avoiding my questions. He said, what questions? about who I am or my number being tied to wherever or the FaceTime thing or what? And I said, all that. And I spit out some names that the phone number was attached to. And I said, do these names mean anything to you? And he said, not at all. And so, you know, I dropped things for no other reason than why I told you. It uh, has nothing to do with whatever you had it summed up to me not being who I said I was. And I said, sure. Sorry, this is so back and forth, but I literally, I wanted to just put out the entire thing because I have nothing to lose anymore. And this is my story and this is how it goes. So I hope you're enjoying the tea. He said, Stephanie, think about the past. How many years have we been talking again? I said, 10. A decade. We've been talking for 10, ten years. years. He said, you dropped off for a long ass time. And I said, like two years. At first, yeah, we were super close. We went to each other with our shit and it was great. But let's say the past few years, I can't pinpoint a handful of times we were close. I'm not blaming you for that. Life happens. You got to do what you've got to do. And I was like, pretty sure like two years ago, you were crying to me every day about like a girl. And like, you've been crying about her ever since. <laughs> And he said, I cry about everything. He's like, LOL, I'm aware. And at this point, I kind of gave up. I'm like, I'm not. I, yeah, I, I said, whatever. It is what it is. Using his own words, because clearly I wasn't getting answers. And he said, I'm an idiot, okay? Doesn't mean I never cared. What? Trying to say you care? I, I, I don't know rereading this I'm like I don't get it I don't get it at all <sighs> okay I said I'm sorry life sucks so hard for you I really am I'm awful at keeping up with people but it doesn't mean I never care all my friends know I'm not very good at keeping in touch even my family I'm not very good at keeping in touch with I said I barely talked to my own family he said, Like I said, life happens and I'm sorry that it played out the way it did. I never intended to hurt you. My brain just flipped and I needed to escape everything, so I did. And I just said, Okay, I'll leave you alone. Apologize to the girl, because obviously I didn't, I wasn't, I have nothing against a girl. She's very talented. She seems very nice. I said, Apologize. I wasn't trying to harass her. I just didn't understand why you'd get her to block me on social media as well, which we talked about for a bit. Oh, apparently she blocked me because she didn't want to be part of the drama. And then I kind of pulled myself out. I said, I'll let you live your life. And then he said, it has jack shit to do with her, you know? Like, I don't care. I, that's fine. I don't, like, I'm not coming to this as a jealous girlfriend. I'm coming to this as a, a friend who, like, if you had a friend for 10 years who just kind of like was like, mm, I just decided no and then like blocked you on things, pretty sure you would feel the same way. And that's how I felt. And then he said, So that's it? That's the big conversation you've been harassing me for? I said, Sure. I guess I'll just let it be. You left for a reason. I hope life treats you well. This is my I give up. Okay then, and I hope the same for you. 
I said thanks. He said later, Steph. That's where it ended. So I clearly don't have answers. It has been over 10 years since I started talking to this person. This conversation we had November 16th, 2018. So that's, we finally spoke for a minute and I still got no answers. Even when I tried calling him out on some stuff that I had found, he just said, no, I don't know. And backed away slowly, I guess. I don't know. The entire situation, in some ways, I feel extremely uncomfortable with the fact that I felt like I was super transparent with this person, especially the last like five years or so. I just thought that he was a really great friend. And I just feel so dumb thinking things were very different than they were. And like, I, I literally don't have words. I. I don't have words. I would still like to meet this person at some point and just to be like, hey, you exist. Sick. <laughs> like, I don't know. But at the same time, I just, I feel so completely just like disregarded and like, I don't know. I completely think that our friendship in the last handful of of years was completely different than he was making it out to be and I also feel like part of him turning off like that was justification for himself to just cut me out of his life. I don't know what I did. I don't think I did anything. Dear Neve and special co-host, guest co-host, please help me. Let's break the rules and let's just like track down a catfish because like it would just be nice to know at this point like peace of mind like who is this person like i don't know i'm hopeful at some point that at some point in my life something will happen and i will get some sort of answer or maybe this other girl will be like yo like i actually i don't know maybe she'll reach back out to me and we'll have a conversation about the fact that this person is very much not who they say they are or I'll be surprised one day and we'll figure out that this person is exactly who they say they are and they just don't want someone that's as cool as me to be their friend I think that's the end of story time there is there is no end if I ever do get answers I'll make sure that I make some sort of conclusion video but it's been 10 plus years. The catfish producer warned me that I things wouldn't change if things didn't happen then, and she was right. Thumbs up if you are very dissatisfied with the ending of that story. Um, but thank you if you have survived up until now um, and you are still with me, you haven't fallen asleep, make sure you scroll down, hit that subscribe button, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for hanging out. If you like these story time videos, I mean, I don't have any other ones that are nearly as juicy as this, but if you'd like story time videos, please let me know and I'll try and think of other things I can share with you. But I think that's it. That is all. I'm gonna go relax. I'm like worked up after telling that story. I don't get it. If you get it, please help me figure it out in the comments below. Actually, also I want, can you please just let me know your point of view down below because like the more outside views I get that would be great or you think I'm just a crazy lady but I like to think I'm pretty friggin level-headed there's no answer there's no official answer and no ending to this so 